Good morning, in this video I'm gonna tell you how to pass the technical interview, both the technical skills assessment and the cultural fit screening. In the end of this video I will give you the key advice that will greatly increase your chances of getting the position you want. So in different companies interviews might have different structure and different questions, but overall they have two main goals, to assess your technical skills and screen you for the cultural fit. Let's talk about the cultural screening first and then discuss the technical questions. And first of all, calm down, relax. Being stressed will obviously make it harder to pass the interview. You will forget the answers to the simple questions and struggle with the problems that you would easily solve otherwise. Being stressed might also make you more defensive, which might make you look as a worse person than you actually are. For example, you might try to look like a smartest guy or girl in the room and it might not look very nice. Also, if you feel vulnerable, you will be more likely to lie about your experience. And this is a no-no during the interview. I've performed a lot of interviews and it's really not nice to see a person in front of you trying to trick you. I really wouldn't like to work with a colleague like this. Integrity is very important, so be decent. And again, the key to this is relax. But Maxim, how do you relax if I'm scared and nervous? Yeah, it is easier said than done, but there are a couple of things that you can do. First of all, get a good rest before the day of the interview. And second, get a bunch of options. I mean, apply to multiple companies at once. It has two benefits. First of all, you will be less nervous about getting into each particular company because you don't need to work in, in all of them. You need just one. And also, you might use the less appealing companies as mock interviews for the desirable ones. And mock interviews, it is actually a great idea. By passing them, you will find and close your blank areas. And also, they will actually help you to be less nervous because what we fear the most is the unknown. And going through the mock interviews will make the whole process more familiar and less scary. As I said, you can do the mock interviews with the companies from the bottom of your list. But also you can do it with your friend or use online services. For example, you can use Pram. It is an online platform that matches you with an optimal peer and allows you to practice for the interview. And don't get too upset if you fail the interview. Use it as a resource of knowledge. Make the notes and close your blank areas. Now to the technical part of the interview. Here people obviously want to see that your actual skills match the skills that you've listed in your resume. And here companies might do a bunch of different things. First of all, they might ask you for some code examples. And this actually happened to me when I was applying to EA to work on Battlefield. I was lucky because at the moment I was working on a pet project that was Ethereum token, just like CryptoKitties. I don't know if you remember that project. It was a thing two years ago. Basically, the app that I was working on allowed you to create uh, unique tokens. Each of them was represented with a radial gradient. I have an article about it on my website. And by the way, let me know if you would like to see a video how to make unique Ethereum tokens, just like CryptoKitties. So anyway, the project used the same stack that they used in Battlefield to build some parts of UI. It was MobX, React and TypeScript. They liked my project and it made it way easier for me to pass the interview. So speaking by my experience, it might be a good idea to cater some pet projects specifically for the company you want to work in if you know their tech stack. The company might also give you a test project to work on for a couple of days. Personally, I don't like this type of uh, test assignments because it might require you a few days to work on and I would rather spend them otherwise. Anyway, in these kind of assignments, people usually want to see not only that you can solve the task, but also how do you do this? How do you separate your code? Are your abstractions leaky? Which means, for example, let's say we are building a drawing application and you build two modules, one for drawing that will actually render something and one for math. And the leaking abstraction will mean that somehow you ended up with some rendering code in your math module on or vice versa. And that's not good. They also might want to see if you are capable of working with low level APIs for some reason, to see how efficient is your code. Maybe your choice of libraries is if using libraries is allowed. With this kind of task, just do your best and maybe ask a bunch of your friends to review your code. If you fail during this stage, then try to get as much information from them as possible to know what was wrong with your code. Make some notes and fix them next time. This is where you can also use some platform like exorcism.io where you can practice some technical problems and get mentoring to improve your code. Some companies, especially big ones like Google, Facebook and such, like to give you some problems that you need to solve real time during the in-person interview. And those usually require a completely different skill set than those that you solve at work. For example, I have more than 10 years of real programming experience, but as I did not solve those specific interview questions lately, if you ask me to solve one, I would probably be not very efficient there. So the only way to prepare for them is a lot of practice. Dedicate some time every day to solve the problems on lead code and hacker rank. It is a simple numbers game. The more tasks you solve, the more efficient you will be during the in-person interview. 
Go to Hacker Rank Cracking the Coding interview, the link will be in the description, and try to solve all the 22 problems. They seem to cover a broad area of coding interview questions, so it will be a very time efficient solution. Then go to Lead Code and try to solve around 50 or so problems. Focus on medium and hard problems there. Both platforms combined should cover you pretty well regarding the technical interview questions. And now to the meat of this video. Try to find someone who already works in this company and who can refer you. It is the best if this person is your friend because then he or she might tell you what their company usually asks during the interview and you can prepare specifically for these kind of questions. But if you don't have anyone then you can use a platform like Blind. It is basically an anonymous forum where you use your company's email to sign up. So register in this platform, try to find someone who already works in the company you want to work in. Being recommended by someone greatly increases your chances of being hired so I totally recommend this one. And I also recommend listening to the New Line podcast episode with Esko Obong working at Uber. He shares his real experience of getting into big tech companies and it's an invaluable resource if you want to get your job position. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what were your struggles during the programming interviews. And also join my Discord server where you can pick the topics for the next videos. See you next time.